Hello everyone, Free the Brinnies here. Welcome back for another exciting episode of Let's Play Mother 3. On the last episode, we fought that optional boss and got a new pair of shoes for Duster. This episode, we're right back where we left off, so I uh, guess we're going to continue on and see if we can find the hummingbird egg. Alright, let's go this way. Oh yeah, also, before I go in there, like I said, off screen, I was going to get them to at least level 20. So we got Lucas is 24, Duster's 22, Kumatora's 21, Boney's also 24, so. Yeah, I figured I'd start doing a little bit of the grinding stuff off screen, because it gets a little tedious to watch. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is the mole here I was talking about in the last episode that I bought the gear from. You know, he's going here, he sells a bunch of stuff. Well, pretty nice. Thank you, sir. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Oh, my God. What is this abomination walking towards me? A parental Kanga shark has blocked the way, huh? Well, let's see how we can deal with this thing. I think normal attack should suffice. Oh yeah, Duster is a house with that kind of damage, so... He's going to be carrying the team for a little while. Alright, not too bad. Oh my god, what is this thing? A reconstructed lion. Oh boy, the chimeras are getting a heck of a lot weirder, it would seem. Yeah, see? Nice. Yeah, with Duster... And we're going to be quite unstoppable area, so. Alright. Let's continue forward here. Now what is this? Is that a turtle? Huh. Well, well, I wanted to try to get a back attack on him, but it's the Mecha Turtle. Oh boy. I think this guy is uh, easy enough to beat, too, I would assume. Yeah, he can take quite a beating. I'm trying to conserve my PSI if I can as well. Just in case. Oh yeah, okay, well, we can beat him in one cycle, that's good. What do we get? Oh, a bomb. Nice. So many different bomb options. Oh yeah, I also forgot when I was doing a little bit of level grinding earlier, um, I was fighting one of those Orangabat things, and I dropped a luxury banana, so that's pretty nice. Ball-shaped explosive deals explosive damage to all enemies. Okay, well, that could come in handy for later. Probably end up giving that to Boney. Uh, what's up, Boney? Oh, yeah. Probably a good idea. You've been wearing that outfit for a few episodes now, so... Alright, well, Boney's taking his disguise off. I recognize him now as my dog, so that's pretty nice. Oh. What's going on, Duster? Oh, that's right. We're looking for a hole, he said. Um, yeah, there's holes everywhere, so what exactly are we going to do about this? Okay, well, we could jump them down in random, but I'm going to pick this one real quick, because there are some items we can pick up in the area, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick, and then I'll show you which one's the right hole. That's what she said. Oh, nice, get that free damage off. Oh yeah, these guys are a lot easier now. It's totally worth going back there and getting that that uh, pair of shoes for him. Oh hey, Mole, you a bad guy? Omelets, oh boy. He's dreaming about my favorite food. Maybe one day you'll get out of this hole and learn the ways of the omelet. How about you, buddy? Yeah, I'll tell you what, some people are just really messy. Alright, let's head up this way, because there should be a box here. Yep, there we go. It's got a Capricorn bracelet in it. I forgot that was there. I wouldn't have bought one. Huh. Now, well, kind of a lazy guy. Oh, well. To each their own, I suppose. Oh, boy. 
two of these guys. Well, start out with the front one in the front, I guess. There we go. Yeah, physical attacks seem to work just fine on these guys. Oh, he's a little bit faster than Lucas, unfortunately. There we go. Now if we can get maybe another level up for... Oh, speak of the devil. Another level up for Lucas. Maybe he'll actually be able to outspeed these guys. Alright, level ups for Lucas and Boney. Can't complain. Alright, let's go over this way here. Aha, there they are. A pencil rocket. And beef jerky. Huh. Nice. Um, well... Well... Hmm. Inventory's starting to become a bit of an issue. But, uh... Oh, well. Go ahead and give that to Boney. I think at the next item deposit guy, we might clean up our inventories a little bit. Alright, that's really the only items I'm interested in here. Um, excuse me, sir. Thank you. I was gonna say, please don't trap me over here. Ah, nuts. That's what I like to see. Everybody just go all out. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't finish him. Oh well, Duster will kick him out all the same. Alright, let's get out of here. That eerie music playing. Oh, there's... that looks like an exit. And hey, Lucas is starting to feel feverish, so I'm going to learn a new PSI tech. Oh, no wonder that there's multiple holes now. They've been expanding it for the last three years. Wow, he really wants to make it a complex world we live in. Alright, well, let me just show you. This hole right there is the one we need to take. Uh, of course, it's guarded by this guy. Apparently, these guys haven't learned their lessons. There we go. All the same, he is done. Alright, Duster reaches level 23, and Kumatora's at 22. Love it. Alright, let's head down this one. Alright, this takes us up here on this ledge. Another mole. Yeah, it's sunny out there. I guess these guys are used to just living underground, so they don't really have to deal with the sun or the clouds or anything like that. The life of a mole. Very complex one, indeed. Can't sprint because of the fever. Hey! Stop over here! Pretending to be a mole over here, so that they'll accept me into their colony. It's a little strange. Why would you want to be part of the mole colony? Well, you know, it's got its perks, ups and downs. I can hide from Miss Piggy down here, so that's always a good one. So, uh, see you later. Alright, see you later, man. Ah, fever goes away. Learned healing beta, okay. Uh, mole? Mole? Alright, well, back to work, you. Yeah, he's not very good at that game, it would seem. Alright, oh, one more mole on the way here. What do you got to say? Oh, so he was a lazy guy, huh? Oh. So, basically, you're saying that if I just be lazy and don't do any work... I can get by and have a happily ever after, after all. Huh. Well, really deep story. Time to move on. Avoid that hole, because it'll send you right back in there. But hey, there's that clay, clay man we're looking for, right? Hummingbird egg still in the area? I hope so. Okay, you got it, Duster? Nice. Well, grab it. Let's get out of here. Lightning? Oh, that was random. Almost got him. Okay. 
Yeah, it looked like it. It doesn't seem to have damaged anything, though, so maybe grab the egg and... Oh, boy. Brought him to life. Of course. You want to fight us, dude? Let's go. Is it going to be boss time? Uh... Apparently not. What the heck is going on? Oh. Well, shoot. He ran away. Uh, we don't have much of a choice except to follow suit. Oh. Oh, there's a lightning symbol on that sign there. This must be that tower. Well, this is the place where all that lightning's coming from. Man, that's one heck of a tall tower. Oh yeah, see? That's what's been firing out lightning bolts. Wait, is it not obvious what they're doing with this thing? Oh boy. Well, it looks like he went down south of the tower. So, uh, let's continue the chase. Chase is on, everyone. Oh. Yeah, we got another one of these Kanga sharks. Duster getting off a preemptive attack. Can't complain about that. And he's out of there. Yeah, I'm going to try to fight a bunch of these guys on the way there. That way we can get some experience. Because uh, a little further ahead will be, obviously, you know, spoiler alert, more bosses on the way. And that seems to be really where the difficulty ramps up in this game, is during the boss fights. I mean, I know it's supposed to, but it does seem a little unfair at times. But with a full team of four, we shouldn't have too many issues. I mean, this game is definitely a lot harder than Mario RPG, for sure. So, don't want to make too many mistakes. I'm just glad it seems like we're around the level where we can pretty much take out anything here within one cycle of our turns, so that's pretty nice. Alright, another turtle down. Plenty of experience points. I love it. Oh man, how many Mecha Turtles are on the way here? They've really been busy in the Turtle Factory, huh? Yup. There we go. I almost thought for a second there he was going to actually survive Duster's attack. Looks like just one more turtle to go. Well, well, thought I was going to get a back attack, but apparently I phased into him. Ah, oh, there we go. Free damage is always welcome here. Just go all out, everybody. Times like this where I almost wish there was an auto battle feature. There we go. What'd you leave behind? Oh, another bomb. Nice. I got a couple treasures in the area here. Go ahead and take that bag of pork chips. And what do we got up here? Secret herb. Okay. Yeah, it's better than nut bread, I suppose. Alright. Get that guy out of there. On to the next one. Hello, Mr. Mecha Turtle. I think you're the last enemy in this area. Come quietly. Give me that experience. And just go all out, guys. Wow, he actually survived. And now he's gonna fire. Ouch. I say he's gonna fire the cannon at us. Wow. Didn't expect that guy would survive the onslaught. Well, let's see. I was going to say, our inventory is filling up pretty good, so, you know what, go ahead and give this to Boney. What's your inventory looking like, Boney? Yeah, Boney's almost full up. Oh yeah, another thing was, he had won some doggy jerky earlier, too, from an enemy. Wasn't sure exactly which one, but, eh, go ahead and give some of these items up. 
Just hold on to those other bombs. Yeah, we really need an item guy soon. I wish, uh, equipment didn't... Oh, magic butterfly. I wish equipment didn't actually take up item slots, but unfortunately in this game it does, so... That's not so nice. Huh, highway above us there. Oh, another one of those Kanga shark things. There we go. Not too bad. Anybody gonna level up? Nope, guess not. Another Kanga Shark. Aha. Oh, what? Alright, I mean, I'll take it. Oh, look at the little baby on his head. Pops out of the pouch to look this way. Well, I feel kind of bad now. Alright, put those two away and continue forward. We've gotta be getting close to that clay man somewhere. Oh, man, left some beef jerky for us. Well, can't complain about that. Except for the fact that my items inventory is getting pretty full. What is this building? Huh. Well, there's a save frog. We might as well go ahead and save our game here. Thank you. Clayman Factory. Huh. Well, I guess I should have known we'd end up in a place like this. Uh, let's see. What? Oh, no. Pig masks. That's actually a good question. What's the point of taking your helmet off? Hmm. These are the kind of questions these guys ask. Jeez. Well, they're not the brightest. I'm who? Yeah, they were kind of slacking off again. Are we here to fight? Huh? I don't really know you guys. Okay. Great. Now we're all disguised. These guys really helped us out here, huh? Jeez, Boney, you look ridiculous. Why am I wearing this sort of outfit, though? Who's this commander person? These guys seem to be pretty afraid of me. I wonder why. Well, I guess we'll have to find out on the next episode of Let's Play Mother 3. See you later, pretty squad. Have a good one.